What's going on, you gamers? Today we're back with some more Elden Ring. What we'll be covering today is how you can get your hands on two very powerful spells for the sorcery class after finding out how to open up the converted fringe tower. So if that interests you, then stay tuned. It's coming up next. Welcome back all you guys and girls as always for all things gaming, for all things Xbox then why not hit that subscribe and bell icon. I'll bring you all the latest and greatest in content, hints, tips, guides and builds and just some fun gameplay reviews of upcoming games. But for today if you want these spells which I'd highly recommend you're going to want to make it all the way up to around Lucaria so you're going to have to play a little bit of the game, made it up the map to here and then you're going to want to spawn in at this location just here, this grace point, the debate parlour. Once you've spawned in here, follow the path that I'm showing and it's going to enable you to get the pieces of the puzzle that you need in order to get a little bit further in the quest. Now as you can see there are quite a few enemies that you're going to have to take on, but just follow the path I'm going and make it past as many as you can without fighting and you should be able to get this done quite quickly. The main thing is to just make it across the rooftops and such without falling off and, that's pretty much mean, and that pretty much means you're golden. Just drop down here, make sure you go to the right ones so that you don't fall too far to your doom. And once you get to this bit, you're going to want to just jump across. Make your way through the window just here. And just inside here is going to be one key piece to the puzzle, and that's dropping down here will get you the Academy Glintstone Key. Just after that you're going to jump off of this ledge just here, make it down to below. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to speed it up a little bit and show you two items that you really should get. One of them you're going to need for this quest, the other one's just worth having. So if you make it this way you're going to be able to pick up the spell Shattering Crystal. Make it all the way down here and you're going to be able to pick up what I would say is well worth having and that's an Azure Glintstone Staff. That's not vital for this mission but it is well worth knowing it's there. However the thing you're going to need just over this way. Make it round here. I missed the turning unfortunately so you could go left there, just make your way round, go outside here, hit this crystal crab and you're going to be rewarded with this item right here, which is another piece to the puzzle, and that's the twin sage glintstone crown. I believe you can use any of these type of crowns, but it's well worth having this one most, so you might as well pick this one up. After you've done that, you're going to need to make it to the church of Irif. The closest destination to that is the lake facing cliffs. From there you'll be able to find it very close. Pick up the sacred tear if you haven't already got it. But the main thing you want to do is speak to this fellow right here and you're going to want to donate 10 runes to him. After that you're going to be able to buy some sorceries from him but even better than that you're going to be able to give him the key that you just acquired from the academy and it's going to mean that he's going to give you this right here, the erudition gesture. Make sure you equip that because it's the last piece of the puzzle we need in order to open up that tower. From here and probably the toughest part of it, I found going to the grand lift of Dectus worked best because it's the closest to where we need to get to. However, there is a bit of a perilous journey because you can suffer from madness and you can fall over. But if you just head in this direction and you watch out for the tower that spews flames and can cause madness, you can quite easily make it just all the way up here. 
is quite a journey, not going to lie. But once you get here, you're going to be at the converted French tower. Make sure you have the glintstone headpiece equipped. Make sure you have the gesture equipped. Stand in front of the statue. Activate the gesture. And finally, you can pop straight upstairs. If you want to take out this enemy you can, you don't really get much from them so I don't bother most times. But the main thing you can want to do, make it all the way to the very top, go up the elevator, make it round another staircase. And finally you're at the top and you've got the Cannon of Hamer and the Gravel of Hamer. Both really nice sorceries to have and this is well worth doing if you're a mage. As always guys and girls, Full Things Gaming, Full Things Xbox, take care. I'll see you on the next day.